In today's video, I'm going to share with you a method that you can use to find the paint color from an image, or at least a close match. This is a process I use all the time in my business, so I'm excited to share it with you today. Now suppose you're scrolling through Instagram and you come across a picture and you say, oh my gosh, that's the paint color I've been looking for. So for example, we've got this vibrant teal door here from Southern Living Magazine. Now, if you're lucky in the description, they have provided you with the paint color, which is Benjamin Moore Bermuda Turquoise. But if you didn't have that information, there is a way that you can locate what the paint color could be. Now here's a process we can follow. First go to your app store. You're going to need a way to pick the color out of the picture and translate that into what's called a hex code. And the hex code is just a six digit combination of letters and numbers that identify a color. So if I go to my application store here and I choose color picker, it will return for me several different options. Now, I use color slurp it says it's the best color picker in the universe. I really love it because it's very simple and easy and straightforward to use, and I am all about that. Through Windows, you will have other options as well. Choose something very simple that will just give you the option to choose a color and have it return a hex code for you. So I'll go ahead and open up Color Slurp for you so you can see how this works. Color Slurp allows me to take a little eyedropper Click that, and then it has the ability now to pick up any colors that it's seeing on the screen. And as I go over to this door, I can find a spot that seems fairly uniform in its color and click on it. And it will return to me a six digit code. And here's that code here. Now I wanna copy that code. And one way you can do that is going up to your menu, edit and copy. You can also do a Command C if you're on the Mac or a Control C to copy that code. Next, there are two websites that I really love to use for returning paint colors. The first is called Encyclopedia. Now here, it is looking for a hex code for me to put in. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste my hex code in from my Color Slurp app. I can do a Command V for a Mac or Control V to paste that color in and hit search. Now first it will return to me a lot of information about this color that really isn't applicable to trying to find what the actual paint color is. As you scroll down, however, you'll start to see paints. And these are similar paints and then each brand of paint. Now, a lot of these paints are from car manufacturers and probably some paint manufacturers that you've never even heard of. But you'll start to see some familiar ones. Like Valspar has Deep Atlantic, which appears to be a pretty close match. This is Deep Atlantic. And then right under here is the actual hex code that we put in. There'll be another one on the right that is a close second within that paint brand. As we scroll down, we'll start to see some familiar ones. We've got Glidden, Disney, Dunn Edwards, Bear has one that's fairly close. Keep scrolling down, we'll see Benjamin Moore has something called Pacific Ocean Blue. Has another one called Varsity Blues that doesn't look quite as close. And on down, you can see Sherwin-Williams has something called Oceanside, which is fairly close and a popular color, but it's second choice, not quite so close. As you continue to scroll down, the colors get further apart from the color that you actually put in. So you can see that it didn't return Bermuda Turquoise to us but it gave us some close matches. Another option is to use something called Easy RGB. And sometimes I find this can have a better color match, and sometimes I find it returns similar information. So again, this is looking, you'll see a couple fields here. You can put in all different types of things to represent a code, but we're looking for that hex code, which is the HTML code here. We'll pin in the hex code, paste that in. And then the great thing about this is you can specify the collection that you want to look at. And as I click on this, you'll see there are tons and tons of brands here. Most of them I've probably never heard of, um, but we'll see some of the standards. We have Sherwin-Williams, you can search all collections, 
or you can search through a specific collection within Sherwin-Williams. So first let's say all collections and see what it returns. We'll hit the match button. And then here is the original code that we put in. And now you can start to see the closest matches. A lot of these again are brands I've never used before. Dunn Edwards is one that's pretty close here called Aquatic. Sherwin-Williams has one called Oceanside that's pretty close. But again, a lot maybe of brands that aren't so familiar. Let's take a look and see what it says when we put in specifically Benjamin Moore's All Collections. We'll hit match again. And now we're getting some returns for Benjamin Moore saying Pacific Ocean, Deep Ocean. But again, we're not seeing Bermuda Turquoise being a close match. Here it is down here in the middle. And you can see that it's a little more muted and a little more gray to it than the actual color we chose. The great thing about these type of websites is they can give you a really good starting place. So maybe you wanna pick up a sample of Deep Ocean and um, Pacific Ocean Blue and Bermuda Turquoise. This will give you a great place to start for colors that look similar to what you're seeing on the screen. Now, why don't they match exactly? Well, the reason is because as people publish their images, they use a lot of filters to enhance the overall look of the image. And this can change the actual color and the way that that color is represented on your screen. It can make it lighter or darker or more saturated or more muted. So that's why you may not always get an exact match, but you will get something pretty close and oftentimes a good place to start. So there you have it, a quick and easy method you can use to find the paint color from an image. Now I've gone ahead and shared the two links to the websites that I mentioned in the video in the video description. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe for more tips like these.